They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poet's part Bright light city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down Okay, so I'm gonna start with Joseph Go for it Okay Hit me Now, how do you... <laughs> How do you feel about your character's story arc from last season? Because so much. You know, the character arc for the last season was huge. It was really Tommy's coming of age and learning how to survive without as much ghost influence in his life and be his own man. So we got to the beginning of him being his own man, but through this connection, the connection with his father, mm -hmm. discovering family, his pursuit of his own family, he really feels that at the end of season five, Ghost has taken all of that away from him by uh, manipulation and trying to make yes. the outcome go into Ghost's favor. So Tommy is ultimately the most broken we've ever seen him at the right. end of season five. And only being that broken in the state, kind of being dissociative from who he really is, the, the man that we've all known as Tommy, mm -hmm. only in that state could he actually take a shot at his brother and feel that he's dead inside. So he wants his brother to be dead as well. But there was a part of Ghost that was actually looking out for him indeed though. As there always is. I mean, there's always the, so. there's always both sides. But Ghost, Ghost is never transparent. The audience knows this these things, this but Tommy doesn't know these things. Right, right. Yeah, power is sort of shot like a horror film, where the audience always has more information, information. than the people, than the characters in, in it. And Tommy is just so childlike. Everybody in some, in some like ways, little, like this, this if childlike me, him. yes, and if childlike means that he wears his emotions on his yes, sleeves, that's un what I unafraid. Mean. Yeah, no, I, I don't yeah, disagree like with he's that. Vulnerable he almost. is vulnerable at those times, and he does have a much bigger heart than he's willing to show almost anybody other than Ghost. We sure. always see Tommy at his rawest when he, or his most authentic self when he's with Ghost. Maybe at his rawest with his mother, and mm. that's a whole other relationship. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a whole, <laughs> that's other, a whole other can of worms. <laughs> um, now, since your character is so emotional, mm -hmm. does it take its toll on you personally sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. I, sometimes I need to uh, regenerate afterwards mm -hmm. and uh, just have a little bit of quiet time and a little How bit do of you me do that? time. Um, I meditate, I do vinyasa yoga, Very I go nice. to uh, therapy, um, I still go to church every Sunday, a good Excellent. Catholic boy. Excellent. <laughs> but, um, Excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's a lot, and I think in the whole show, you probably... There is a lot, even for you, I'm sure, I mean... Mm. <sighs> yeah, it's you kind know, of... How do you feel about the public's reaction to your apparent demise? Oh, I think there's been a lot of... Um, Speaking of digging deep, and that was a huge public, scene. Yeah, um, I think people, it's so funny, because sort of even people that have, like hated Angela, like in that, have been like, oh no, you know, it's like... Yeah. It, you know how the, the, the adage is like, um, don't go away mad? just go away. This is right. like the opposite of like, I hate you, but don't leave. Don't leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's been really sweet, actually. It's been... I get a lot of, on social media, why, why you shot Angela? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I can't stand her, but... I kind of root for Angela, though. It's oh. a tough spot. Ah, she's I root for her, too, spot. as a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. It's a tough spot to be in. Um, now, the way that Angela's love for Ghost constantly puts her in conflict with her best interests. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give for her, or give to her? Oh, so it's hard because I, I have, like, I really try to not give people advice unless they ask for it because I feel like it's inherently oppressive. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that people really need to learn through their mm. own experience. You, you know, you can you sort of have to let people stumble Being and make their own are. mistakes. Mm -hmm. I think, and also, it's so hard because. Angela's love for ghosts happened in childhood, just like Tommy's. Like those right. bonds are so deep. deep. And so it's not an easy thing to throw away or root out. It's not it's not just that she's having an affair with a married man. It's like she's rekindling this love affair that started so long ago and he happens to be married. And so it's 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 sort of much more complicated than a simple affair. Right. Um, right. And part of it is just like she had dreams for herself, she had dreams it's for him. Ghost. And so it's really hard to like abandon that boy mm -hmm. that she fell in love with because he still he himself still wants that. Right. right. So the advice that I would give her 
is I think I would just understand that she's in a really tough spot yeah. and try to love her and support her and um, try to encourage her to go see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of people believe, a lot of people were in disbelief, excuse me, that Tommy's estranged father would be the catalyst for his betraying ghost. Yeah, I, you know, the writers are uh, so smart uh, on mm -hmm. the show mm -hmm. that they realized that that would strike a nerve in everybody. So mm -hmm. um, I think that that was a really uh, well-crafted move. Um, it, it was also, people were also very surprised at how quickly Tommy gave trust to his father. And I think that that just shows what a, how desperate Tommy is for understanding mm -hmm. and love. And I mm -hmm. think a lot of people can connect to that.